Hey y'all, um, I'm at it today with um, Real Flight Simulator. I haven't done a mobile um, game in a while, but this simulator is legit. I've streamed it a couple times uh, when I was still really small on Twitch. Um, and I'll, I'll get to the taxing soon. I'm flying New York to um, Atlanta today. And um, we'll see how I do, but this flight simulator is actually really darn realistic. I play their other game, um, and I'm gonna fly just this Delta, um, this Delta um, to Atlanta. Um, I mean, this Delta, New York to Atlanta. Um, it's an Airbus um, A320-200. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm traveling for a couple days. I'm visiting family, celebrating my stepfather's birthday today, and so I don't have my typical setup for scale modeling, which is what I usually do, and lately I've been um, doing PS4 um, streams. I've been streaming No Man's Sky, which has been super, super fun. Um, but I'll get to some more kind of personal life stories of today and the last couple days. Nothing really too much to share. But let's get at it. Um, and I'm trying out a new royalty-free um, playlist today, so let me know how it goes. My audio isn't ideal. I'm um, I'm not picking up audio through my headphones. I'm doing it via my MacBook. Hopefully that's decent enough. Um, ooh, I could fly to the Caribbean. Let's see how long. I'm aiming for a couple hours of flight time. Um, so, if I take off from JFK and do the gate, I want to do the full thing today. Um, so I think that lighting is getting in the way. Let me just adjust that, sorry. I think that might be slightly better actually um, yeah so um, let me see how long would this way be four hours that's a bit too long for today let me do and I could do really any airport here but I want to do the I mean I could fly New York to Florida that would be a bit long as well. So, this is now 2 hours and 25 minutes, not including taxiing. I think that's more or less perfect. Might be even a long, a little long too. But I will um, start this flight. Okay. So, first things first. Now, I'm not purely experienced in this game, but I know the basics from doing a lot of mobile flight simulators. So bear with me. Okay. Um, ground systems. So I'll go through the checklists and I'll change the view as well. Um, what's nice about this is that you have like a central HUD. Um, so you can turn it on and off. I practiced a couple times earlier today. Um, I'll keep it on from most of the flight until I go autopilot um, and then I'll um, I will <clears throat> excuse me I'll turn it off at a later point and I'm gonna climb so let's check out our flight plan um, it's not really relevant yet I'm not a big user of this until I actually so I gotta get to this runway um, taxi there. Um, taxi is a little different than this and their other game. Um, yeah, so let me just go back and change the view to this. Um, I don't need the HUD yet. So I'm just taking my time with this because I'm kind of new. Um, I'll check my checklist pre flight. Done. Parking brake set. Battery. 
Um, oh, this that's in the system. On APU. Oh, that's below zero C. That's just the detanking. Okay, APU is on. Hit the no smoking sign. Seat belts. Fuel. Um, am I actually fueled? No, but let me call in my ground systems and begin loading fuel. Okay. Um, let me attach the fuel truck. Yeah, passenger door is closed. Over door is closed. Let's watch this fuel up. It's gonna be a two and a half hour flight. Uh, well, I actually need to. Oh, nice. I didn't realize I can tilt this. Nice, nice. Um, okay. Fuel. this um yeah and um that's done so right i'm not gonna load any passengers on Too much fuel. Let me see how much 10,000 kilograms. Whoops. Overshot. That's still plenty. That gives me two extra hours. Let me do like 5,000. It gives me an extra hour. Do eight thousand. I mean, the graphics here look realistic, super like for a mobile game. This is really nice. I kind of regret not being to take, not being able to take off before sunset, but I might change the weather. So, yeah, okay, um, anyway, um, I'm good on fuel, um, I think that should be funny, um, let me change the weather and, like, um, delay this by, so it's 7.48, 7.40, let me do, like, around 6 p.m. Yeah. Cool. Um, I want to kind of take off in sunset. Yeah, okay, back to the checklists. Um... Flight fuel is good. I don't know. Test alarms. I don't want to test all, but I, yeah. Okay, let's just assume the alarms are tested. Next, beacon lights, engine number two, number one, and the APU. Okay. See, I think the beacon lights are the ones in the front. Um, lights. Beacon lights. 
Yep, okay, they're the ones in the middle with the red flashing lights. I guess that means engine turning on. Let's do... Nice, cool looking... Cool looking plane. Um, okay, engines. Now, I've done flight simulators before, so this isn't all new to me. Um, engine number two. I think it has to reach like 50% pressure. Maybe not. I'm waiting for it to turn green, but it might not have to. Yeah, I think that's that. There, there we go. Engine number two is good. Check. Let's wait for engine number one. Yeah, so 20% pressure. Cool. Engine number one. Um, check. Um, and my APU can go off. Now, ice. Turn on the ice. Turn on the taxi nav lights. Lights. Taxi lights. Nav lights. Cool. Especially useful when it's kind of dark. Um, now, what time is it now in the game? 6.04. So 6.20, like, if I don't take off by then, I'll reset the clock to 6.20 or 6.30. But I think I'll make it by then. So that's my runway where I need to aim. So lights are on. Okay, uh, so now good to taxi. I don't need to push back, so let me also... I'm gonna, as far as ground systems go, load... Cool. And I am using fuel already. Um, obviously, my engines are on. Being a scale modeler, you know, I'd love to. Um, but this always gives me an option to stream something cool. Uh, this really makes up for you know the lack of mobile gaming there is on Twitch. This isn't Microsoft Flight Simulator for sure, but so many realistic elements of the physics are really, really good. So I don't need to push back. Well, let me just see. If I did push back, what would happen? Um, upload. Some ground systems. Yeah. I called it. I think I'm good to taxi. Let's just see. That's it. No, I'm gonna do pushback. It orients me the right way. Can I actually turn? Yeah, I can. Yep, you turn with a gyroscope. Just letting you get push me on. Cool. Cool, cool. Now, how to get to that runway? There's no taxi indicator, okay. And this communication chat, um, it's a generic chat. I haven't paid for the pro version, which I probably will. Um, but yeah. It's been like, what, 15 minutes, not bad for really my first time doing this in like a year and a half. 
Um, my parking brake off. What's that like? Looking for low thrust taxing is a you know slow process. Just follow yellow line. I wonder if I did autopilot. No, I can't autopilot on the ground, of course. the general direction I'm turning. Just pause. No, it's definitely not quit. Did not mean to hit that. Alright, I'll turn on this one. This isn't paused. Now that I'm taxiing, I'm not going through checklists. The checklists here are kind of monotonous. Bump it up to like 20. Alright, I'm taxi here. Just trying to be level. These don't seem unidirectional. I really need these indicators. So, if only I had a letter code. But there's no taxing waypoints. I should definitely, next time I'm definitely gonna pay for the full version to get the comms chat. Going 20 knots, that's fine. I'll keep this, um, this indicator on. The map, it's helpful. Yeah, I really need this, um, this background thing on. It's a runway, but 31L, 13R. I mean, a lot, I've learned a lot from other games, other, so across the runway. From other, um, what you might call it, their other flight simulator. I'm just manually adjusting the thrust. I kind of have a feel for it.
Alright, I'm getting close. Okay, at this point, I can see the runway in sight. It's just end of this road. I'll still use this indicator, it's very helpful. And then I go into cockpit view. I fly in cockpit view, and I do the best I can. And in fact, I prefer to climb mostly without autopilot. So I'll see how I fare. So, okay. Second intersection, for lack of a better word, I'm going to get at the very end of the runway. I wonder if that's actually for reverse. No, that's fine if I... Oh, if I don't get at the very end, that's okay. That's a bit of a... I see what I did there. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but I'll... Should be a clear way. Is this the oh, this is the runway. What is going on? Huh. I went in reverse. Okay, let me just do a loop de loop. Doing a loop de loop. Runway mistake. My bad. Should have used my intuition. <laughs> That's silly. Now let me go slow, I'm going to try and properly align. The beginning part is most of the checklists. Now there's going to be a after taxiing before takeoff checklist that I'm going to go through. And I, I mean for f like serious flights like this, I go by the checklist. I don't need this map anymore. Well, I did make it to the runway. Just want to make sure I'm properly aligned. Um, O4L. Cool. Properly aligned, more or less. So, nice.
Um, yeah. Okay, take a little breather. Um, just give me a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's still go through some of these checklists first before I switch my view. Before takeoff. Okay, strobe lights. Should still be on. Lights. Now I'm turning on the strobe lights. Takeoff flaps to two. Flight controls, I guess they're checked. I'll turn on my HUD for that. Cabin lights off. Now, once I take off, so many things are kind of intuitive for me, like lifting up the gear and flaps that I might not, and just keeping speed below 250 under 10,000. Like as you can see, the next checklists are that after 10,000, lights really are irrelevant. So just, that's the key thing, knowing how to take off, which I already do from so many games. Um, yeah. Flight controls checked. Cabin lights are off. Landing lights are on. Okay, I guess it's time for takeoff. I'll switch up the tune for takeoff. I kind of want to put something else on. Let's do this. Um, and no autopilot until sometime. And cockpit mode. Let me just recalibrate. And here goes nothing. And um, I like to just let me check my next waypoint as well. So I'm bearing left, taking off, bearing left. A lot of waypoints until top of climb, but. I'll probably go into autopilot after these couple turns. Um, yeah, top of climb, 36,000 feet. So maybe after town or so, maybe some point here, I'll go into autopilot. But yeah, so time to do this. And uh, I want to. I always like to look at my engines actually. So, like, people have rated this on YouTube, and even real pilots have been kind of impressed for what this does. Engines are at 20, bumping up the thrust gradually. Keeping my nose down. VR is 129 knots. Rest of that 47. The one thing I'll autopilot is speed. Oh, my parking brake. That's why. That was a bit silly. <laughs> okay, I'm coasting along now. I'll keep my engine power. In general, that's not good. I totally forgot about parking brake. Keep my engine at about 83. 
VR. Nose up. And I'm climbing. Gear up. Pitch forward a bit. Turn into this climb. Pitch down. In general, I know you're not supposed to pitch and turn right away. Okay. Let me just autopilot speed. That's all I'm going to do. Bump it up to 237, 240. Turn off these cameras. Realign. And I'm rocking it. There we go. Laps up. There we go. That was a good takeoff. Except for the, um... Except for the parking brake. That was kind of funny. So, the one thing I'm concerned about is the landing. Landing here is tough. Let's see, 13 minutes until my next destination. It's a very slow climb. Change up the camera view just for a bit. And I'm keep in mind I'm not in autopilot right now. So that was all manually controlled. And I like this takeoff kind of into the dark. It is kind of stupid of me not holding autopilot, not turning on autopilot at the moment. But yeah, um, I mean it's it's twenty nautical miles away from me. Bump the speed up to 245 knots. I mean, from the outside look of it, this very much looks like um, and hopefully I'll get some people tuning in soon. Um, let me temporarily turn on navigation. It's a bit too fast. Um, there we go. So I can put my phone down. Um, but yeah. I mean, let's see. It's like two and a half hours from now that I'm supposed to land. I might, I might just fast forward things. And, um, land early. I'll see how I feel. I don't know if I'm a, for a longer stream. I mean, I don't usually stream on Tuesdays in general, in principle. And this is not my usual stream setup. Um, so, yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, when I get close to, um, when I get close to, um, what do you call it, this destination, I will, I mean, heck, maybe I'll put on Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> instead, but I'm pretty bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, yeah, um, I meant when I get close to this next waypoint, G W E Z Z. um, let's just engage autopilot for a little bit, maybe not.
I still have two hours, 13 minutes to my destination. That's a cool shot. Flying over New York. Where am I now? Probably like upstate New York. It's a cool game, highly recommend. It's a bit too intense for um, a mobile phone, to be honest. Like, just, it's overwhelming. But, um, yeah. Um, it's definitely worth it. Like, if you, if you know a thing or two about simulators, and I do, um, it's totally worth it. Keep my altitude set. Overshot a little bit. I also recalibrate. See, I like in general climbing to manual, climbing in manual, but there's a rudder as well. even this out let me auto navigate for all of this yeah it's just I mean it's I did the takeoff very well without autopilot at this point anyone would turn on autopilot it's just <laughs> It's like, why wouldn't you? I mean, the flying totally warrants it. It's pretty much straight flying with a couple turns every few tens of nautical miles. H W -E E R O is the next waypoint. I'll see, you can skip between waypoints. I think I just did accidentally. I skipped like one waypoint, that's fine. Top of climb will be there soon. I mean heck, might as well turn off the HUD. I've definitely skipped over a couple, couple waypoints. Just a couple.
and um, I don't know. I'm tempted to kind of cut things short, and um, I don't know if more people will hop on. Maybe I'll do like a second smaller flight. I'm probably gonna cut it short and like skip over once I start climbing. Actually, skip over to somewhere in my descent path, and. Um, but yeah, I'll just wait a few more minutes, skip over somewhere in my descent path, and start kind of just approach and see if I can nail it. The landing, that is. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to keep trying, but landings are tough. Yeah, they're tough. I do, like, I do enjoy, this isn't my favorite thing to stream, like, scale modeling for sure has been my favorite, and then secondary, some of my PS4 games, but seeing as I don't, um, have them here, I, you know, I stream this instead. It's also hard to stream because... Whether people join or not, so much is in autopilot. And that's not especially exciting. It's fun to look at. And to a viewer, it's all the same, but yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm loving this, um,. These soundtracks, by the way, they're pretty awesome. I was gonna tell myself, like, oh, take a break from streaming because I'm traveling, but I got really compelled to stream again. So yeah, approaching this waypoint, and um, and uh, yeah, probably speed things up. I need like a secondary activity while doing this. It's a bit, um, it's a little cumbersome, I won't lie. Like, I love flight simulators in general, but I haven't done like a long flight in autopilot. It's hard to believe the engine is at like 10% thrust, but once you have lift, you have lift. And I'm not really climbing either. Okay. Approaching. Waypoint. C A N D R. I don't know the full alphanumeric airline something alpha something delta. I don't know. I never learned that. I'm gonna start climbing. Oh no, there's another waypoint. Right. 
towing. I mean, the graphics are deep, like, so for a mobile game, really solid. For a mobile game, really solid. So let me see, how would this... Next waypoint look like. This will probably bring me to the nope. Mid climb. It's a 40 minute climb. Damn. Now I'm at 75% thrust. That's my altitude. Oh, that's top of descent. I've made my climb. Yeah, I guess thinner atmosphere, much more thrust. That makes sense. It's 300 nautical miles. And I'm over speeding, why? Because my autopilot's not on. There we go. I was going as fast as possible. The speed doesn't have to be that freaking mild, though. It can be 350. But, yeah, I'm gonna... This will level out, but... I am gonna... Jump ahead. There's probably a lot of waypoints here, yep. Jump ahead to dudes. Dio. Right before it. And HUD, definitely want my HUD. Speed, I want speed for sure in auto nav. That will help with my piloting a lot. That's the one thing I'll have. I'm not gonna go through the checklist. I disregard the lights for simplicity. And I generally know landings. A little low. Yeah, I was pushing down. That's best not to look at too much. I mean, that was decent. It's like my second time playing this after a long time. Let's see if I can stick this landing. Um... This view is a bit easier. It'd be awesome to have like a secondary device to view this information from. good to drop landing gear but I don't do that yet right after this waypoint I'll activate right before it I'll activate my first set of flaps and uh, yeah
just check which uh, direction. All right, I'm bearing right. After this. There's also actually a waypoint indicated below the HUD. It indicates what you should be aligned to. Well, supposedly landing in five minutes, more or less. Whoa, why is it getting all light all of a sudden? I guess I just passed the cloud layer. I'm loving this soundtrack. Awesome beats. Normal beats. Alright. I'll lower my first set of flaps. This has to be a sharp. Not really so sharp turn. Landing has been, this approach, I mean, has been fun. I'm already aligned with the runway, more or less, at this point. Second set of flaps. Are my spoilers? I think I can lower my gear. Gear is being put down. See, uh Ascents and landings are fun. I do need the glide scope. Something is not right. 
Oh no, 22,000 feet. I can't be right. Why is my glide scope? What the freak? I need that glide scope. No, I need flaps on full. Here's the runway. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. I need the rudder. I might try this again. That's a failed landing. I already know. Let me do short landing. I don't like that. Okay. Gear, flaps full, autopilot, my speed. Spoilers armed. So, what was it with my ride scope? I absolutely need some sort of radar. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's working. I'm gonna keep looking at it. It's much more reliable. Keep my finger on the rudder. Yeah, landings are worth practicing. See, that messed me up, the map. Yeah, that totally messed me up. Um, let me try it again. I'm determined. I'm very determined to get this right. Um, short landing. Try like one or two more times. Okay, first things first, autopilot with speed. Flaps full, gear down, spoilers armed. I'll use this for my glide scope. So it's hard to nail. off again move my speed I mean this is just tough this is really tough I took off well all right one more time one more time once I get it down a couple times like in general I'll be able to succeed so let's use one 
this new one. Gear. All right. Let's keep that on while I'm adjusting my gear. Flaps full, spoilers armed. Don't tell me I missed the runway by far. Yep. Yeah, it's like right here. Can I nosedive it? crashed all right I'll try one more time no I'm not starting from the beginning all right I think that's that um, yeah it was a short stream about an hour or so but yeah that last attempt really didn't fare well at all and usually I don't crash I kind of skid off of course this would be easier with a game so involved is easier with like a yoke in general okay i'll be back in a few days um doing either a scale model extreme or a um um either streaming like finally kingdom hearts or um what's the other word i'm looking for um the other game no man's sky yeah but it was fun um I'll be back soon. Yeah.